What's up, my dudes? It's your boy Zeddy, aka Most Country Man Man. And today, guys, I'm bringing you a 30k money game, which I actually played just uh, just after the one that I posted yesterday. It's actually it's Raids Like a Boss. Right here, I'm gonna show you my new lineup. I haven't got some upgrades since the last time. I'm gonna show you my uh, my show you, so I'm gonna show you my new lineup. I'm actually looking to upgrade my receivers next. I'm um, trying to think about trying to get the 97 Des Bryant or um, maybe the Pro Bowl J Ross. So I, I want some 99 k. I want a 99 receiver, should I say? And uh, so I'm uh, looking, I'm trying to decide who I want. I gotta save up for. Hopefully I can win some coin games and uh, <laughs> you know do a little. So it help me out a little bit, get there a little faster. But you said got the 99 JJ Watt, 99 Warren Sapp, Dama Kansu, and also this Bruce Irvin. Put this dude in your QB spy, and it's over. 94 speed. <laughs> Put that drop that dude in the coverage. It's he's a glitch, man. He's like having an extra cornerback on the field. <laughs> it's crazy. But um, you see, Cushing he never sees the field. But I got the 97 Willis, which has really played really well for me. 91 speed. Got the ghost Derek Thomas, which also a very good card. And cornerbacks, I got my complete all second my hope oh, all my secondary or should I say my four that are out on the field for me. All 99s. I got 99 Deion Sanders. Woodson picked up Sean Taylor. Oh yeah, I finally got enough to get him. So now I got 299 overall safeties of lots of hit power. So I'm loving that. And as my backups, I got 97 Laron Landry, 97 Earl Thomas, and 96 Eric Berry. And that's all. They're just not sitting on the bench. So my secondary is pretty stacked at this point. I even have a Night Train Lane and a Nomdi just sitting there waiting just in case. Now my kicker stuff. I'm gonna show you that. I'm their 90 and something and I got 90 over Janikowski but we ain't worried about that. Now look at Rage like a boss's team he's got Russell Wilson, Eric Dickerson, Jerry Rice his receivers are pretty stacked. He's got a pretty good overall team. I think his linebacker's a little bit lacking but he's got that 99 JJ Watt. As we will see in this game that's gotta be the best card in Multiple Team. It's gotta be that. It's the glitchiest player I've ever seen in my life. But um, his, his team's actually pretty funny, I think, because he's caught him a 2002 Buccaneers, but he's only got like one Buccaneer on the whole team. <laughs> I don't know what his deal with that was, but anyways, guys, um, let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. First possession, I'm just running my Atlanta playbook, just going down. Usually do score pretty effortlessly to start off the game. Um, as you guys are going to see, though, he's in a, I should have ran his flanker screen more, by the way. Only ran it like one time. But as you see, this guy, his defense, I know he, he usually has some good blitzes, but you see this right here, I'm just dotting him when he tries to blitz me. Pretty much just making it look, make everything look was wide open when he blitz. But you're going to see, he doesn't have to blitz, because he's got J.J. Watt. And right there, he clicks on D-Tackle, you're not going to catch up with D-Tackle, but I didn't even see him, but it was a good play. Right here, I dot him. But like I was saying, guys, he's in a, what you're going to see, if you don't like Fag D, this is not a game you're going to want to see. <laughs> but J.J. Watt is an absolute game-breaking glitch. I've never been destroyed like so much by one person as I do in this game. And, most, and also, he killed with strong power. He usually don't have much problem against it. But I don't know what was there. I'll just off. My, my run stick was way off this game. I was just missing everything, getting stuck on blockers. But like I was saying, um, this JJ Watt is just an absolute glitch. Uh, my pocket presence is usually pretty good, but this game I'm just rolling out of pocket as soon as I snap the ball because he has me so paranoid. Because it's just like an inst he's like an A gap. It's like you're sending an A gap, but you're just rushing one player, man. It's ridiculous. Right there, my deep blue zone is act stupid. I don't know what he's doing. He throws a little fade inside. Right there, I run commit. I shouldn't have, but um, he hit me with a curl. So seven to seven. And guys, watch this. He's just rushing one player, and he's blotching instantly every play. I'm just running around like a chick on my head cut off. I mean, watch me. It just got me so paranoid. Look at this crap. I never play like this, and I'm just running around because of J.J. Watt. But right here, watch this. J.J. Watt. <laughs> one player, man. I'm blocking six. Or I might have blocked five. I don't know. I think I blocked my running back, too. Blocked six people, I'm pretty sure. And he just comes in and gets a safety on me, guys. There ain't nothing I can do when you're a brush one. There ain't nobody open. And he got a spy to keep me from running, but it's just crazy. Now, uh, watch this, guys. I thought it's pretty funny. I was doing, I hadn't done my strong power day, and I actually go to it for once. I run it stock right here. He doesn't even do strong power, but I thought this was kind of funny if I call this place stock and it completely locked him. <laughs> Look at that, man. I completely locked him. I should just run out every play. Just run it stock, no adjustments. And right here, look at this, man. This pissed me off, I ain't gonna lie. 
Who does this? Second and third of you from the out route? Come on, man. That's crazy. You got that crap on me. So I, I should have had to stop, man. I shouldn't have gave it up. But that's whatever. He got it. Good play by him. So I go give up a second and third. That's crazy. And he, he's hit me with a lot of out routes. I'm trying to put my DM in a purple. You know, I got Bruce Irvin with 94 speed. So I, I think he's going to get out there in time, but he's not. So I'm having to switch up my defenses a little bit. Or if I'm going to run the 5-2, I'm going to have to put my linebacker in a, or cornerback in a flat or a purple zone to take away the out route. Because my defensive end isn't getting out fast enough. But as you guys see, it's just, he just rushing one player every every play. They're just with J.J. Watt. And he has like a contain up sometimes or something. But watch. Look at this, guys. <laughs> what can I do? What can I do, guys? What can I do, man? I've got two safeties. J.J. Watt has got two safeties on me in the first half. So I'm down 18 to 7, and he's got the ball, and he gets ball at half. Looks like I'm about to just get my doors blown off, guys. <laughs> so I'm going to start. I ain't going to blitz him either. Look at this. Come on, man. If Come on, Patrick Willis. How do you not pick it? That's crazy, man. If he, if he strikes up and just picks that, he might have been a pick six out there. I ain't going to lie. But whatever. He gets away with it. And um, he's mixed. Look at this bad stick right there, guys. I thought I was just going to run in and KO him with Brian Dawkins, and I dive off the screen. Like I said, my run stick was terrible this game. Everything I was doing was terrible. So, just like that, he's mixing up his runs a lot. He made strong power. I mean, he'd be in a different formation, inside zone, and I don't know. I was just terrible this game on run stick. But right here, I'm trying to get a score. I'm down 25 seconds. Get my doors blown off. Flooded. Because J.J. Watt, the one-man wrecking crew. And right here, I motion my running back over just to distract him a little bit and take him his attention off the streak, hopefully. It looks like he tried to click on and make an adjustment, and it threw him off. So I do hit him with a quick streak. So I do get up getting lucky and get a touchdown before I. So he's trying to, I'm trying to keep him getting from field goal range if I was an out route. So over here, I'm going to use a cover at this time and shade and stuff. And he tries to throw a streak, and Sean Taylor just jumps that crap. Thank you, Sean Taylor. So he actually gets down right there. So I'm actually got a chance at a field goal right before half. So it's a big turnaround if I can make this field goal. That'll actually be 10 points for me in the last, what, 20, 20 or so seconds of the first half. So that's definitely a, when considering I was down 25 to 7, it's a big turnaround getting those 10 points. Very big. So I'm actually just down one possession now. So going into the, the next half, he's got 130 something yards of Dickerson already just destroying me with a run. And look at Dion Sanders. Like my video for that pick. <laughs> that dude, what a glitch, man. He dives and gets that one-handed like that. Who does that? Dion does. That's who. That's why they call him primetime, man. Big game, whatever the saying is. Big players make big plays in big time moments, whatever. And right here, so I get the ball back. Now I'm only down by eight. Get the, get the right here. Got Adrian Peterson breaks the tackle. Get down there now. Actually, pause the game right here. I'm trying to ask him if I can go for two or not. I'm not sure. So right here, I'm sitting waiting. I'm not trying to. I'm hesitating whether or not I should do it. I normally would quick snap this and just get it. And right there, he's user coming. I threw it anyway. Kind of just threw off the mojo a little bit, but not just coming out and going with the momentum while I was waiting. So I am down by two. Didn't get the two point conversion. And you see, he's running all over me, and I'm nowhere to be found. I'm just. I'm using my user is nowhere even close to him. Look at this, guys. I'm just running into blocks and just. I normally, man, if you run into a hole with me like that with Dawkins, I'm usually going to hit sticky. But just wasn't on this game. And once again, he's hitting me with out routes. He's doing good mixing it up with me and stuff. Just catch me off guard, quick snapping. But like I said, my run sticks usually much better than what it is here. So right here, I'm tired of the out routes. So I put a flat purple, yellow. I put everything over there. And watch Woodson, man. How you not pick up? He just stops. Just stops for no reason. He could have picked that off easy. But, and of course, I mean, what happens when we get dotted the next play for the streak? So, guys, but watch this go line D, guys. First down, get him stopped down of a one. So, I come out, time this, because I think he's going to do a QB sneak. Stop it. So, watch this adjustment, guys. Watch this right here. I'm going to show you to you in real time. The whole adjustment. Put a spy out there in case he tries to run. Put my end in a flat, because I'm expecting a little play action pay play if he doesn't do power O. I act like I'm coming down here and run committing, but I'm actually pass committing. So, I put the flat out there. Adjust him. He has nowhere to go, and <sighs> drop the pick. What else is new, guys? <laughs> so he ends up getting a field goal, drop the pick. But um, 
But right here, I, he does drop the pick again. But um, if I catch on my picks, I wouldn't have had him in this position. But as was, but he dropped the pick. There's no denying it. So I guess it helped even out a little bit. But um, he's still sending that one man wrecking crew, JJ Watt, at you, man. If y'all, you gonna get one player, you gotta get this man. Look at this crap. These guys are just coming at me like crazy. He's not. But I get a little sticky right here. Whoop! And I slide down before I get hit stick because I definitely don't want to get hit stick right here, guys. So I'm um, trying to soften him up a little bit, run the draw. I should have run it some more because he's just rushing one player every time. But, but at this point, I'm just trying to milk it out. I'm, I'm going to milk him out right here and score the last second is what I'm going to do and win the game, take my coins. That's what I'm planning on doing. Look at this, he's rushing zero right here. So he clicks on, brings the guy in the rush. No, I got nobody open because he's rushing nobody. And right all of a sudden... <laughs> Yeah, only me, man. <laughs> only me. That only would happen to me. I guarantee you. If I, oh man, you you got it. Only me. Oh, I guarantee you. If I was someone else, they would have broke that sack and probably got a first down. Not me. And so, game is over, guys. <laughs> Hate the bracket team, but um, I'm still gonna not gonna give up. I'm at least gonna try to score again. Just. To, just to have out of respect, have some respect for myself, trying to make this score more respectable, and then all of a sudden he gets this. He just called. He just playing 5D. And my tackle just going to stand there and look at Lawrence Taylor. And not block him. Oh, man. Like I said, it's a good game. Yeah, it was a good game. Oh, but guys, only me, guys. It's just not my day. This is the same. This is right after the other coin game I just played. So I lost 60K this night, guys. I said Madden has not been going my way. It's <laughs> just not. But just watch this crap. He just rushing two people, and his guy just comes in. If that's a blitz, uh, I'm not to buy easy, but because that's a nice blitz. But no, it's not. <laughs> but anyways, guys, um, give me a thumbs up, guys, for posting losses two in a row, posting me get, losing all these coin games, and comment down below and um, subscribe if you're not. And until next time, it's your boy Zeddy, and I'm out.